Okay, so this is not a simple question um, in the least, but it is actually not really that difficult if, uh, <laughs> suppose if you know what you're doing. An ambulance traveling down the road at constant speed emits a sound wave from its siren. A lady stands on the side of the road with a detector and registered sound waves at a frequency of 405 hertz as the ambulance passes her. Okay. Notice that she is standing. So the velocity of the listener, the velocity of the listener is equal to zero. Okay, um, and then frequency of 405 as the ambulance approaches her, after pa uh, passing her and moving away at the same constant speed, sound waves of frequency 395 hertz are registered. Assume the speed of sound is 300, uh, 3, 354.9 meters per second. It's getting late in the day. Calculate the speed at which the ambulance is moving. Now, now, okay, so. Um, if we look at our formula, we have that the velocity, the frequency observed, is equal to the velocity of the speed of sound, which is that given, minus the velocity of the listener. She's standing still, so that's not important. Uh, divided by c minus the velocity of the source. That's what we're trying to calculate. Okay, times the frequency of the source. Now, this is the problem. We do not have the frequency of the source. And we can't just assume it's halfway between um, this value and that value. That's not true either. It isn't exactly halfway between there. What we, are indeed, what we do indeed have is two scenarios. In the one scenario, the observed frequency is 405 when we substitute into this formula. So here's our one formula, 354.9 minus 0. I'm going to leave that out. Divided by 354.9 minus the velocity of the source that I'm trying to calculate times the frequency of the source. Okay, the frequency of the source, which we don't know. So we notice there's two unknowns in this equation. And from mathematics, we also realize that means we need two equations. So this is our equation one. Let's get another equation. The other equation is 395 is equal to 354,9 divided by 354,9 and now you notice that now it's not negative anymore because it's going in the opposite direction. In other words, velocity comes into play here where we must use a plus there. So because it's in the opposite direction, that now becomes a positive times the frequency of the source. This is our equation number two. So here's our equation number two, and now it's a matter of solving these two equations simultaneously. Okay, now it is not actually very difficult. Okay, one way in which you can do it is you can divide these two equations with each other. So, and I think that's the, the easiest since there's a multiply here and a multiply there. If I take the left hand side, so if I say 405 and I divide it by the other equation, so I'm saying equation 1 divided by equation 2, 405 minus 395, okay, is equal to, and now I can divide the coefficients, 354,9 divided by 354,9 minus Vs. This is divided by 354,9 over 354,9 plus Vs. And then this and that is divided, and that just gives me 1. And that's why I did it. Because when I do that, I get rid of the F is that's not even asked in this question. Okay, so let's keep this as 405 over 395. On the right hand side we have a fraction dividing a fraction, so we tip in times. Okay, so we've got 354,9 divided by 354,9 minus Vs times 354,9 plus Vs over 35. 
four comma nine and that's when I see I give up this and that can cancel and in order to continue to solve this equation um, I need to solve for Vs so what I'm going to do is since I have this in the denominator I'm going to multiply three five four comma nine minus Vs on both sides okay three five four 4 comma 9 minus velocity of the source is multiplied on both sides and uh, well this is a long question okay um, we get 405 um, over 395 multiply I'm multiplying this inside that bracket 354 comma 9 minus 405 over 395 times Vs okay and on the left hand side sorry right hand side I'm left over with only 354 comma 9 plus Vs that's the only thing left here so uh, taking all the correct terms to the correct side if I on uh, this left hand side I add 405 over 4 uh, 395 Vs on both sides over 395 I'm adding it on both sides and getting rid on the right hand side of the 354 in other words I'm getting the constants to one side and uh, the, the unknowns to the other side so on the left hand side I now have 405 you notice I've not used the calculator once Okay, I'm just doing my algebraic uh, simplification of this equation, which is a lot of work, as you notice. Okay, subtracting three five four comma nine on that side, and on the other side, I now have um, I've got this one, and I've got that fraction. So I've got one plus that fraction okay as a uh, coefficient for the velocity of the source and therefore my final step would be to divide that away okay so I did some not really complicated but definitely not grade A type things uh, that I'm doing here okay so 1 plus 405 over 395 and this is the this is when I'm going to use my calculator and, and the only reason why I didn't do it from the beginning is because then the, I might make mistakes along the way with my rounding and uh, in the end mess up the whole question so now I have one question that I have to solve uh, one uh, simplify using my calculator 405 divided by 395 times 354.9 4.9 that's my uh, numerator 8.98 my numerator and I'm going to divide that with the frac with uh, 1 plus 405 um, divided by 395 there we go and uh, what do I get 4.43 get 4.43625 uh, let's just make it 4.44 so it's traveling at 4.44 meters per second. And that's it. And in the second part of the question, uh, which asks what is the frequency at which the siren emits the sound waves, all we need to do is substitute this into one of these equations. So uh, we now have this value. We now have that as 4.44, so we just substitute 395 is equal to 354,9 divided by 354,9 plus 4.44 Fs, which means Fs is 394 divided by that. So let's see, what do we get there? We get in brackets 354.9. 9 minus 4.44 4, not minus plus sorry. Uh, plus 
4.44 okay that gives me 359.34 the denominator is equal to so that I get at 98.76 percent okay remember I, I'm substituting into the second part which said I'm registering 395 okay so 395 must divide that okay so I take that I put it over 1 and I times it with 395 and I get 399.94 okay so 399,94 Hertz and this is where I warned you it's not necessarily that the frequency that it's emitting is halfway between the frequency observed before and after okay here we can see it's not strange that it's not but it's not okay it's not 400 very close okay very very close but it is not and it's not because we made um, um, because of the rounding because if you even if you even do this question and you don't round at all uh, in other words this last part we rounded to second two decimal places if we left it to that five decimals that we have you would even find that this has a few more decimals extra and it's further away from 400 uh, so it's not about the rounding um, I, I, I must be honest I don't know why it isn't halfway between but I'm going to try and find out anyways um, that's it for now These, this is the last example I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next topic where we get to light